Hi, welcome to this presentation. This is Paul Fru from O10 Engineering Services and also Adam Barton who will be assisting on the uh, left hand side there. Just, we're here to uh, prepare your mathematics for study in the electrotechnology industry and maybe if you're studying with O10 in general. And this presentation is to do with using the calculator and working with fractions. Our email here at engineering services o10.engineering at tafenewsouthwales.edu.au. You can phone us on 02 9715-8469. Or you can like us on Facebook, O10 Electro Technology, or follow us on Twitter, O10 Electrical. We use the Casio calculators here at um, O10 Engineering Services. And in this presentation we're going to be looking at fractions, how to put that into your calculator. The left hand side is a Casio FX82AU Plus and on the right hand side is an FX82MS which is an, an older version but throughout our presentations here at Oakland Engineering Services we refer to both of those uh, calculators. Okay, the first question is how do you add one quarter and two thirds? What does one quarter actually mean? If we've got a piece here like a circle or a pie that means we've got four pieces and two thirds means we've actually got three pieces. Just refer to Adam's part there, uh, what he said on the screen there, it's like, like a pizza. So we've got one, two, three, four parts and here we've got one, two, three parts. Now it's very difficult to add those two together because they're not common. So one quarter just means one piece of the four pieces and two thirds means actually two parts of the three pieces. Now, so with one half and two thirds, we need to find a common denominator of those two to make it simple. And that means the bottom part of the fraction. So we want to get that to a common value, and it's going to look at 12. So both 4 goes into 12 and 3 goes into 12. Okay, so that means we've actually got 12 pieces now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's our common denominator. Now that we've got that, there's our 12 there. We're going to work out how many times does 4 go into 12. So we go 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So 1 quarter also equals 3 twelfths. So we're now looking at this part here, that 1 quarter which is 3 twelfths, which is actually 3 parts of those 12 pieces. 1, 2 and 3 pieces. Then 3 goes into 12, so we say 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Just look at the fraction, it says two thirds. We've actually got two of those, so we'll just add another four to there. So two thirds actually equals to eight twelfths. And looking at our pizza again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two thirds, which equals eight twelfths, is that there. Now we're going to add the whole lot together. So three twelfths plus eight twelfths, one, two, three is the first part for the three twelfths. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which means we've only got one piece left. So 3 twelfths plus 8 twelfths. So let's just go right around now. Notice we've got one left. So 3 twelfths plus 8 twelfths equals 11 twelfths. Now we're going to show you actually how to put this into your calculator. Okay. So that, that symbol there means division. So we're actually saying 1 divided by 4 plus 2 divided by 3 equals. Now to put this in your calculator, we just go 1 divided by 4 plus 2 divided by 3 equals. And we'll either get 11 twelfths or you might get a decimal reading of 0 0.916667, depending how your calculator is set up. We've either got math mode or line mode. 
and that's a decimal value there. So let's have a look at how to set up the map mode in your calculator. So if you hit shift and set up, you'll get this on your screen if you're using this Casio calculator here. We just hit one on our calculator and it should bring up this here. Hit one again and that gets us into the math, math mode which is the actual the fraction. So we'll just show you what it actually looks like on your calculator. So have a look here. You should see that on your calculator. So we go now one. Just watch the screen. We're going to use that button there which is to put in a fraction. So one divided by four and that's what your calculator should look like. Now just that little button there is that on your calculator. Plus two. Look at the calculator, that, that symbol there, three. So we're now actually saying your calculator should look like this here, one quarter plus two thirds equals 11 twelfths. Now if we set up into the line mode, we go back to shift setup, we click on the two, it's now going to be put on your calculator in, in a line. So if, if you still got the math mode there, you haven't actually turned it off, it needs to be blank there. So let's just go through it now. It is one, hit the fraction button there on your calculator, four, and this is what it should look like on your calculator if you've got it in that mode there, plus two, three, have a three, so that there equals, and we should get that display on our calculator. Now if we want to convert that now to a decimal value, just watch the calculator, the SD button there, just press that there and you should get 0.916667. Now if you press that button back there again, and just watch what Adam is actually saying here, hitting the S and the D will flip between the two values or the two answers there, between the decimal and the fraction. So hopefully that will help you now working out fractions, a bit of revision with fractions and how to set up your calculator for fractions. Thanks for watching this presentation. If you've got any questions and um, regarding our courses, all the information there at the front of this presentation. Thank you again. Okay, bye.